Hi, my name's Adam, and I build trails. And sometimes the trees around my trails fall down. And when that happens, I reach for a nice, warm chainsaw. So, not only is this good for clearing fallen trees, it's good for falling trees and cutting zombies in half. And since we've been ranking our trail tools in both trail functionality and zombie apocalypse, this is one of the most um, well-rounded for either of those uh, pursuits. So, it ranks pretty high on both charts. Not ideal for zombies, but for trees it's perfect, because you can get up close and personal with those they're not going to bite you. So yeah, this is going to be great. It's going to take care of big blowdown, big trees that fall on your trail uh, way faster than a handsaw is going to take care of. And it'll get through the bigger stuff um, as well. So uh, there's a lot to know about these. I'm not going to go into that because I am not qualified to tell you how to use this. So please take a course or look at information elsewhere on YouTube, uh, Bucking Billy Ray from Canada. I'll put a link to him in the description. It is an excellent resource. He's been playing with these things for 30 plus, longer than I've been alive, so he knows what he's talking about. I do everything he suggests and it's made cutting way more enjoyable. These are not fun when they're dull and they're actually more dangerous, so they're pretty good. You don't need the biggest one in the world, but just keep in mind that a smaller bar is going to be a bit more squirrely. So your, your technique and your awareness is going to need to be spot on you can't you can't be sleepy and not paying attention while you're using one of these make sure that the bar oil is always topped up stay on top of the chain maintenance flip the bar occasionally and yeah you should uh, enjoy using one of these because it's a lot of fun so just get one keep your trails clear and um, hopefully you don't have to cut any zombies in half